Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a little bit different because at some point I may insert a picture of all the packages I had to review for you guys. I've had some companies send me some stuff and when I get around to putting on makeup and looking half decent for you guys, I'm going to film that. Right now, um, I am backed up. I don't know if y'all can see. There, We have a ton of... This is such a good shot. We have a ton of T2 packages back here. They've been building up from their sale. Um, kind of like David's T semi-annual sale. Um, I think they call it their middle of the year sale. Don't really know. Um, but I know I've got a crap ton of packages to open. So... I need to get that done. I've been prolonging it because I wanted to break it up and do a couple of videos for you guys. But I just don't have time for that. And I've been seeing where some people did have one or two items arrive damaged. Um, I was concerned about two of my big boxes here. So we're just going to do this. I've got a table in front of me. So as I open it, I'm just going to line it all out. I am hopefully not... I don't know. Uh, I don't want to take too long and have to if I have to unwrap a whole bunch of stuff I'll try to edit that out no one really wants to watch that part anyway unless we get into some serious tea chat okay cool the first thing I got was the T2 Boho Rose Bazaar this is probably going to show up backwards because I'm filming it on my phone using the reverse camera but yes and it does say limited edition on there. And Stephanie from Tealy Project. I had ordered this before I saw her video. But then I saw her post a picture of it in the T2 fan page. Mmm. So pretty. So let me show you guys what is inside super quick. Filming this way does not generally work for me. Like the rest of y'all who film videos and put yourself in there. Y'all do y'all. But this is a struggle for me. Normally I just like to show the product and be behind the counter. And on a side note... My hair is in transition to be platinum in the front. So we are trying to get the red out. So don't mind that. Um, you get a really pretty gold infuser. And I really like that. Kind of reminds me of the vintage ones. Um, you get the boho rose tea. Which Stephanie says this tea is really, really good. You get a cup. Oof, it was in there. Oh, it's so cute. Now, this one doesn't say fine china or anything like that, but it is their Porto mug, I believe is what it's called. They're big kind of fat, round, apple-like mugs, if you will. It's, um, in real, it, on the side, it looked red, deep red. Um, it may, it to me, it's even pulling more pink, but in person, it's more of a mauve with gold flex but it's really cute it's smaller than i thought it would be like like here's the tea box here's the mug so i really thought the mug was going to be bigger but i like it i like it a lot i think it's cute and holds in the hand well so i like that and i'm not going to quote prices unless i remember what i bought them for i do believe this set was 20 dollars when i got it I have no idea what is in the rest of these. I did place a couple orders. Unfortunately, that's what happens when you're in the T2 fan page. Um, there's a lot of great girls in there and you see what they get. And then you're just like, yeah, I got to do it. Um, and I'm talking really fast because I've had a lot of caffeine today. So one thing is, please don't embarrass me in my video. This is why I cannot film at home because I have three teenagers and a teenage a boyfriend that acts like a teenager. So, um, if you sign up to be a T2 Society member, which is free, you get gift wrap free and you get these really pretty papers. Generally, I take the time to get them off easy and try to reuse them. Right now, I'm just kind of in a hurry with that. Normally, you have to spend $50 before you get free shipping and right now, it's reduced to only $35, which is really good, especially if you're shopping the sale. So, some of these papers I haven't got before. Some of the, the wrapping, they're kind of summery and really nice. So, you can definitely reuse those. One thing I like about getting the gift wrap too, they put them in these black T2 boxes, which are really nice. Especially for me when I do a tea purge out of my cabinet. That's my cat. Um, a tea 2 purge out of my cabinet. I can pack teas for my friends. 
and deliver them in these boxes and it's just kind of fancy schmancy if I can get it open. So let's see what we have. Generally, they put the T2 gift wrap on the top, which is nice. And again, if you're going to give tea as a, front, um, as a gift, you have gift wrap in there, which is cool. Oh, I did order these. Sweet. I got, I've never gotten a T2 tea in a tin from them. I got the T2 Mold Wine Magic. If I'm not mistaken, these are holiday teas. I believe so. Um, and this one is Frosted Fruitcake. Really excited. I believe both of these were $7. And I've heard really good things about them. Ooh, that is quite a bit of tea in there. Oh, you can smell it. It's 4.2 ounces. Oh my gosh, it smells like Christmas. Okay, one thing you guys should know about me, if you don't know already, Holiday tea, hands down, my favorite. Holiday and bakery tea. Now I want to sniff this one, hold on. Both of these smell so good. It makes me want to literally go buy out what they have. I'm not even joking. That is so good. Okay, excited. All right, that's all that's in this box. We'll go ahead and grab this huge box right here. And yeah, so my son had to have an emergency dental procedure today. Might have stopped at Dunkin' Donuts. Might have had three medium iced coffees today because they have a promotion in my account where, well, I don't know if it's for everyone. I don't know how they work, but every day I can get three iced coffees for a dollar each. So I did that. So I'm a little bit hyper than normal. All right, I'm gonna set this big box down again. We have the tissue. And I'm kind of just very excited because I haven't really got to sit down and film during this pandemic. We've had so much going on. Um, a lot of this really cool brown paper, it does protect it pretty well. So we have a mystery black box. And again, you guys, I've ordered quite a bit of stuff. I really don't remember what I'm supposed to have coming. Like that is the truth. Ooh, okay. A teapot. We have a lid. What did I order? Okay. I think I remember this one. See, this is why normally I just try to have everything open and ready and act like I have my ish together. But y'all all know I'm a mom and I don't. Okay. So this one is, I believe the medium Hugo teapot. Um, this is what they call the color gray, but I'm going to tell you, unless I'm colorblind and have not known it, comes with a nice infuser. In real life, I would not say, I would not say that this teapot is gray. It is kind of pulling gray on the screen, but in real life, it's got this sage to it. I, yeah, it's more sage green than gray. I'm not mad at that. Um, it's a nice teapot. What I love is the si simplicity of it. I like that the infuser has a hole where you put this tab in like that. I like the simple look of it. I am more of a bougie teapot girl. I, I like flourished, vintage, blingy teapots. But this is nice. It, I believe this one was $10. What I like the most is the handle. My chunky hand is not getting burnt against that. So I really like that. And for $10, I mean, you can't beat it. I don't see anything wrong with it. So that is awesome. Throw that to the side. Oh, more black boxes. These are really nice little boxes. I might actually reuse some of these for Christmas. Okay, looks like we're going to have another teapot. Ooh, that lid is so cute. And I'm sorry, y'all. I really do try, but I'm just not made out to be a famous YouTuber. I just, I just, I got too much going on. I got to work for a living, you know? So I try to show as much things I get as possible. This one is so cute. Okay. This one has a rose gold infuser and I love these very fine infusers so much. 
All right. I do remember me placing this order. This one is $5 on their website. And I really thought it would sell out. And I was on the T2 website yesterday. And I keep looking over here. But I'm pretty sure my camera's right there. I'm sorry. Um. Anyway, so, so cute. $5. And I think these were originally like $35-ish. So, for size comparison, can you use my chunky head here is the medium and here is the small this is definitely perfect for one person i think in the winter time when i'm like in the bed and i have a tea tray in the bed this one is perfect for me and this is definitely perfect for two to three people so that is cute so for five dollars and then this one is ten so i have seen their hugo sets before but i'm going to be honest as far as my financial standpoint that collection was really expensive and I was not willing to pay the original price of that just because it is so simplistic and plain. I do have two cats and one of them is getting pretty curious over here. This is our, we have a kitty loaf. This is our kitty baguette that we um, rescued from one of our kitty shelters. She's a tortoiseshell and she is crazy they have a lot of high energy but she's trying to see what all is going on right now so i will move her you can go up here all right so next we have a mug this infuser has a tab and i'm just kind of inspecting this right along with you guys the only issue i see on this mug it's got just a little bump on the ceramic, but it's okay. Infuser fits down in there and the lid fits snugly on top. Someone in the T2 fan group asked a question. I guess her top didn't fit in well. So yes, mine does, as you can see there. I, um, if I would have been in the store, I wouldn't have purchased this because again, I am plus size. I'm not a tiny girl. Um, I mean, I'm not huge. I'm not, you know, but she is in the box but you know I'm, I'm plus size i'm chunky and so only three of my fingers fit in here they don't necessarily touch the cup which is okay but i kind of prefer a mug that i can get my whole hand into it's okay it was five dollars i bought it to go with the teapot so i can appreciate that um yeah it's okay are you gonna help me in the box spaghetti i'm sorry she loves the T2 boxes. I really love this paper, this kind of webbing. It really keeps things, it kind of locks, like you kind of got to pull it apart. And I really like that. That's how my Maley package came wrapped, was in this style of paper. Ooh. Okay. I think. This. Let me dig the other thing out. I'm so sorry, Baguette. Let mama move you over. There you go. Um, I think this is gonna be a tea for two set. Listen, y'all. Since I had broke up with David's tea, I have always been a tea for one girl. Like I used to go to resale shops, and if I saw one, I'd just buy it. I love them. I think they're this paper is making my hands itch. They're just so nifty to have, especially if you're going to have tea by yourself, but you want it a little more fancy than just making a cup of tea. So all this paper to wrap that teapot. Hope we're still filming. Yes, we are. Okay. Anyway, so T2 not only does tea for one so beautifully, probably better than anyone else I've ever seen. They do the neatest tea for two sets. You guys can go look at some of my past videos um, on some of the other ones I've gotten. But my house is small. Very small. And normally when I bring stuff in, I am purging stuff right back out. And um, oh, it's so pretty. Sorry. Anyway, um, their teaware allows me to be able to have a lot more in my tea area than previously. I'm able to have a teapot with two cups. Um, and store it with less space than a traditional teapot and teacups. 
So let me show you guys. I'm I'm almost done unwrapping. This is why I hate doing unwrapping, but I really don't want to have to stop and edit. I'm going to be truthful. I want to get this video up for you guys. Okay. And this one does say Tichu Fine Bone China. I don't know if it will um, focus. This is the Blue Botanical Teapot. Again, I'm filming on my um, reverse camera. So I don't know what you're rear facing. So it's probably not showing the color as true. But in real life, it is a very pretty blue, like a baby blue. It comes with two teacups. And I'm just doing a quick inspect there. Because the whole point I'm kind of rushing this is so we don't have anything damaged. And there's the lid. And look how that stores. So as opposed to having a big beautiful teapot and all these cups to try to stack and store, it's compact. I love this. And it has a little pineapple at the top. I think it's a pineapple or something. I don't know. But very beautiful. This thing caught my eye. I do want the traditional teapot in this collection. And they're, they call it their tall teacups. Um, I love those. They're like a pedestal teacup. Um, my tea budget, I have went overboard lately. So I have to be very careful about how much I'm buying. Just because, you guys, you will reach a point when you become obsessed with tea that you literally cannot... Sh like, I have no more nooks and crannies to put tea, teaware... But I thought, I do want this collection. I want to have some of it. So the T for two is such a perfect way to have that print. And I love it. And now I can have tea with uh, my girls. I want y'all to see. Maybe I'm not doing this right. <laughs> she, oof. It's okay, baguette. Do y'all's animals ever do that? Okay, sorry about that. Just so cute. Oh, well. Right. Next box. Oh, I am so sorry. That voice went in there with her. Beautiful blue and wrapped. I'm trying to remember. Okay, I got the Hugo. So, one big package. I do know should be some cups to go with that Hugo teapot. Uh... And we'll talk about that when we get to it because that was a good deal. I think I did just buy them because of how much of a markdown they were on. Not necessarily because I have to have them. I got to stop doing that and really just bring in things that, you know, generally I do. I don't generally just go, oh, that was marked down 90%. Let me have it. Okay. What do we have? Oh, so... I'm serious. This is so fun because I've had packages coming in for the past month or over a month. And I've just been letting them uh, pile up. So I've really completely forgotten what I've gotten. So in my last video, I got a pack of these season steepings. I love holiday tea, y'all. I love it. And this has some good ones in there. I think this was $3.00. No, you can't go in that box. She's trying to switch boxes now. Carrot cake. Very excited for this one. This one come highly recommended by Stephanie on Tea Leaf Project. For years, I've heard her talk about this one. I love the David's Tea Carrot Cake, but unfortunately, I broke up with them months ago. We're going to give this one a try. Pretty excited. Oh, I did not even know I got this one. I almost just reordered or almost ordered this in an order the other day watermelon sorbet everyone's saying this one's good it's summertime sounds like it would be wonderful iced so that one was three dollars i don't remember if i said that but this one was seven what are you oh i'm glad i got the, okay i forgot t2 20 moments of wonder i don't know if this is still on the site it was <clears throat> excuse me twelve dollars or 18 something like that and it has literally 20 different teas in there on the back y'all probably are not going to be able to read that but 
There are 20 different tees, and for me, this was great because I have generally been buying their tea wear, so this is a great chance for me to dive into their tea. I do have a handful of teas from them, um, but not a huge variety, and I thought, man, you know, this is a great way to go. It's a great value. God bless you. So, if you guys are in the same kind of boat, see if they have that because you're getting to try 20 teas. Um, I really want to say I, I got that for $12, but don't yell at me if I'm wrong. Ooh, I forgot I ordered this. Look at that box. It's called the T2 Total Tool. This tool makes its cue from none other than the humble leaf, making your tea for one in no time at all. Oh, I want her to see what you are. Okay, y'all know that I love mint. Like, literally, everything in my house is mint. I've got some mint baskets sitting right here getting ready to organize stuff. This is a really pretty, like, scoop spoon. It has, like, ornate detail. I just don't think my camera is going to show you guys that. Um, but it is really pretty. It's got little, like, flowering detail. And then we've got a classic tea ball attached. Tea balls are not my thing. But you can take the spoon off the tea ball. Um, I don't know. I may give it a try, but this spoon for sure, super cute. And I think this was $3 maybe, something like that. If I don't use it, I will most certainly, you know, give it as a gift to a friend. But it was very affordable and the color had to have it. If you guys could see the table we're on right now. Um, my boyfriend and I made this table and it's in a beautiful like icy mint color and oh I love it okay let's see next big thing I really hope this isn't boring y'all but I'm just trying to show you guys what I got so I can check my tea wear and I I really in my mind wanted to be like all made up and super cute but let's just be real to who my channel is okay oh okay I remember this oh it's so pretty okay this is from their this is also fun bone China this is from their electric ladyland I think is the name of it collection so you've got a pink plate with gold striping through it and this is the tall cup I was talking about that they make. Um, I think they're really kind of known for these. This kind of footed cup. And it's white, excuse me, on the inside and all gold. We have something that's going to match this if I can uncover it in these boxes. But again, Stephanie Teeley Project, that one was her fault because I seen her get the teapot. Um, like a year ago it's been it's been a minute maybe not a year but it's been a while and i thought oh that teapot is so pretty and she picked it up and lo and behold on the sale this year i saw it pop back up and i thought mm, yes thank you t2 you knew that valerie had to have one of these thank you for digging them out so freaking pretty like I completely am going to use this through the holidays so we have a silver infuser which is interesting because we have a gold teapot I'm not complaining I'm just saying you would think they would have had a gold infuser this one does not that's odd this one is not t2 branded the infuser's not either, and the infuser does look a little bit different, but it just says made in China. No actual T2 logo at all. That is very strange. Um, it looks like bone China, though. The way, like, you just can't mistake in a white bone China. I don't know, though. It is pretty white. I'm going to have to look that up. 
It does have the little strainer holes in there, but I digress. So there's the teapot. Now what you probably can't tell, it's scalloped on the bottom. So it's really, really pretty in real life. It's not big. It would be okay for one to two people for sure. And that's what it looks like with the cup. So super, super pretty. And I think I got this for $15. I believe, and the cup was 10. 10 or 5. I can't remember. Maybe 10. Okay. After this box, we just have this one. So, see, I haven't even opened this box. But, I, again, I was... I thought, well, I'll do a couple boxes in a video. So you guys, things are just so hectic with this coronavirus and kids and you know I work in a pharmaceutical industry I love that you get these little cards I save these are so cute um I just got to be realistic with with filming with you guys like you know I'm not a famous youtuber so I don't have to impress nobody I'm just a southern Asian all right pretty green packaging I have no idea what's in, in here. I can't remember what I ordered. I know what's in there, I think. I think it's the, the cups I was talking about. But I don't know what's in here. Again, remember, if you guys sign up for the T2 oh, Society, it's free. They put them in pretty black boxes. Because trust me, if you don't choose that, they don't come like this, okay? I made that mistake in my first order. I was like, why is everyone else getting pretty boxes? And I didn't. And then Stephanie explained it, so... Thank you for that. Aw, she is in this box looking so cute, y'all. What are you? Oh, I remember you. Okay. Okay. Let me cut this open because I got to show you guys something. This is way more beautiful than I thought it was going to be. I like that they have it wrapped in this bag. Okay, I can't remember the exact name. All these say is made in Morocco. Again, these do not have the T2 logo on them, but they are beautiful. Um, I thought it was going to be tall. I don't know. We live in the South, so, you know, when we have a glass or something, it's like a big glass. But it's small, and that's yeah. okay. It's really pretty. It's silver, and I think it's called the Silver. It's from their, like, Sultan collection, whatever. Um, and this one was $7 or $5. And I thought it was neat because it had this bottom saucer with silver lining on it. The silver is not shiny. It's matte. But on here, it's shiny. Kind of odd, but it works. Anyway, I thought that was really cute. For when I do gung fu tea, this would be nice to, you know, be able to get that aroma out of a tall cup. So, I did get that, and that's really pretty. The next thing I got, alright, so, going back to the T for 1s and the T for 2. I saw, um, they had this collection called the Eleganza Collection, and I swear to y'all, it looks just like the entire collection, like something straight out of Alice in Wonderland. Straight out of Alice in Wonderland, which is right up my alley. Like funky and bright. It had mints and pink. Yes, please. Yes, please. I'm literally hacking up this tape, y'all. It's how well that they wrap stuff. Um. Anyway, and I thought, when I saw the prices, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't afford that. I'm not spending $72 for a tea for one. Like, your girl don't got it like that, you know? So, I just, I eyed it, and I was like, oh, it's so pretty, but I'm never going to have it. Y'all, they put it in the sale. They put the Eleganza line on sale, and I begged and begged and begged to extend my budget, and he said yes. So, we got it. Um, let me finish unwrapping and, sh oh, I'll show y'all those in a minute. Okay. This one is also, ooh, I thought, okay. 
Thank you, Jesus. I thought something was wrong, but it's not. T2 Fine Bone China. Here is the bottom. And I heard a lot of people saying that they felt like the colors were not as vibrant in person. I will second that, but I will also say that it's still beautiful compared to any major retail store or whatever as far as tea wear. Yeah. Their tea wear is above and beyond. So no, it's not as broad as they portrayed it to be. Um, now there is the blue botanical one, but in person these are still beautiful pieces that you can't get anywhere else and I know this camera is not the best but there are little gold dots on there do y'all see that that kind of glitter and it's got gold all the way around the rim and this just screams carnival to me like cotton candy carnival Alice in Wonderland I don't know here is the cup I'm so grateful I'm just checking I like to check everything it is beautiful Look at that. And I'm going to show you guys with it like all put together. Let me finish unwrapping this. Oh my goodness. We are already at 31 minutes. Well, if you guys have made it to this long, leave a comment and let me know. And say, yes, Val, I did make it to 31 minutes. Um, these are my least favorite infuser, but they work. They do the job. Like that. Here is the top. I am just thrilled so far. Knocking on wood, everything no, has arrived. Okay. So All right. Here is the no. top teapot part. No. So that freaking is. pretty, man. Like that must mean that's. Ugh. Oh. So, Here is the lid. And look, they I just they put so much cobbles. detail into that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Then Compare. Your standard teapot to that like come on oh that could be a thumbnail all right so here is what it looks like all together now tell me that that is not beautiful it's got this like egg shape going on like in gung fu tea they call it like the dra dragon egg teapot which is like one of my favorites this freaking teapot is beautiful beautiful they have a tea for two i wanted to get it but we've been doing a lot of thrifting so some of my budget has been going to that getting vintage kitchenware and teaware so i haven't been able to afford it but i'm i'm just so glad i was able to get at least the tea for one and have the print in my collection i did get two more things i want to say that these i'm throwing boxes i want to say that these were three dollars a piece and I like, I just cut my finger. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, uh, nope. Everything did not make it. I just cut my finger. We're all right. I had this piece of porcelain just go into my finger. Ooh. Well, I spoke too soon. Oh, she's broken. I ordered, let me show y'all these. Um, just a little blood. I don't know if y'all can see it. I ordered these really cute teapots. They look like almost egg cups. And I thought that these would be great. Um, Like if I'm drinking a big cup and the kids just want to try what I've got. Like little sampler cups or for my gong fu tea because... These cups are just, look at the design on them. Just so pretty, you guys. Is that one broke too? Felt something rough. Hold on. Let me just do this on camera. I've heard um, Stephanie say that's why she opens her stuff on camera. Oh, that's cool. Because you don't know. Now I know. Never quite had anything like that happen. So, she is broke right there you probably can't see it and she's cracked <laughs> let's see if I can take a picture I'm, I'm just taking pictures there so I can just email them 
No, maybe. So I'm gonna put this piece of broken porcelain in there. This is not even something I would keep as a planter, unfortunately. Um, just because there is like a notch missing and it is cracking. Sometimes I've kept broken teaware and tried to upcycle. I feel like this one's just too dangerous, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm gonna message them and see if I can get another one. They're just so pretty for $3. That breaks my heart. So we're gonna set that aside and you know, I got shanked, but it's okay. I've got reminders going on. All right, last box. Well, that was a little dramatic, wasn't it? I mean, what's a good YouTube video without a little drama? That really cut me. I don't think y'all can see it, but yeah. See that? So soil. This is so. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Has, have you guys ever cut yourself on? Okay. So, I'm going to give you guys a tour really soon. We are converting our kitchen. You know, I've been working on my tea area. It changes all the time. Like, it never stays the same. Um, but we've been really trying to convert the kitchen into vintage. And it's looking pretty good. So, I want to give you guys a tour of that if you want to see it. Do you guys collect anything vintage? Let me know. Do you do vintage tea wear? Um, we do Pyrex. We've always collected Corel in our family. So I kind of want to show you guys that collection if you want to see it. Just something different. But let me know if you guys collect anything vintage or old um, down below. I'm really sad about this tea cup. Alright, so this is the last item. And it is what I thought. I'm going to show you guys these Hugo cups and saucers. Let me make sure nothing else down there. Oh, it's such a big mess to clean, but it's been a little fun, actually. On the side, it says Hugo cup and saucer. So, the story behind these, these are gray. Um, these were $85. Now, let me keep it real with y'all. There is no way I'm going to spend $85 for this plain cup when they have so many other beautiful options no hate t2 because i love you you're my family i got you know i'm there but no so am i surprised these were on clearance no am i surprised any of the hugo stuff was on clearance no i'm not and that's kind of their fault because they create such beautiful tea wear i mean i'm sure someone somewhere likes it but it's not awful it's just plain they're just not known for plain. You know, you want plain, you go to Walmart or you go to Target. No offense. Don't come for me, y'all. I'm just saying. All right. It's going to be really hard to show you guys this. This is how they're packed. And I'm going to just take one out. Because, you know, I really don't know if I'm going to keep this set or gift this. Um, They are really cute. This is, I believe, just ceramic. It's heavy and thick and feels like ceramic. Here's the cup, and they are small. They are smaller than I thought they would be. I guess I thought they would be the same size as the mug with the infuser, and I'm gonna show you guys the difference. But they sit well, and they're cute. I think, um, actually, these would be really cute for some hot cocoa, actually. So, size comparison there. Can y'all see that? So here's the cup with the infuser, and here is the four set. Yeah, I see what you mean. I don't know what it just said. I think my phone is giving up. Okay. Sorry, my phone just gave me a weird message, so I don't know if it caught the end of that or not. Okay. But okay, well, here is the size comparison. So this is the one with the infuser the and the one with the saucer. Quite a bit smaller, but cute. Cute. And definitely more in ratio with the teapot. So kind of seeing them together is, is it's cute. It's cute. I just don't know for me if I'm going to pull this set out when I have other options. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Macy, you know, a lot of times I end up gifting stuff to my friends or my sister, the sisters, as I have many. And so you never really know where it's going to go. But I kind of had that FOMO, that fear of missing out because I saw everyone posting about them. 
and I was like, oh, let me just get this. So it's okay. It's not my favorite. I don't hate it. I'm not mad at it. It's just so, so, so that was a long box opening, but I quite enjoyed it. So, you know, if you guys enjoy that, please leave a comment. Let me know. Did you guys make it through the whole thing? Did you give up on me? And what would you guys like to see next? Do you want to see into our process of creating a, a, a more vintage kitchen? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I really want to know what you guys like to collect as well. Have you guys enjoyed the videos of us shopping around with my mom <laughs> during COVID? Sorry, people are always messaging me. Um, let me know. And if you prefer the way I do box openings as far as, far as just focusing in on the products only i'm cool with that you don't have to see you know my mug in videos all the time just wanted to do something different for you guys um i'm pretty excited now i get to go clean my cabinet and cabinets and try to find space for more stuff um so yeah like and comment i don't have anything fancy no slogan just i'll see you guys in my next video